back for a part two. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deja, and if you're back, thanks for coming back. I appreciate you. Now, if I say a costume that you've already bought, please, again, don't unsubscribe. But I got you at the end. I'm gonna name a bunch of costumes that I think would be great for this year's Halloween. If you have not seen part one in this video, what are you doing with your life? Mm, go watch that first and then come back. Or you can do it after, whatever you prefer. Y'all know I don't do long intros. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. And that is costumes I better not see this Halloween part two. Let's get into it. All right, so the first costume, top of my list again, the devil and angel combo. I'm sorry, don't beat me up guys, but it's boring, okay? Give me something more. Y'all be out here reusing, reducing, recycling costumes. It's boring. Do something better, baby. Unless you're like five, I can't really see why you would want to be one of these. An Among Us character? I mean, it's different for sure, but I think that's more of like children wise, if that makes sense. I don't know why Jim is 35 wearing an Among Us costume. No offense, Jim. Pick a different costume, buddy. I got some options for you. My boyfriend and I went into Spirit Halloween last weekend and he had the audacity to look at me and say, you wanna do that one? Thing one and thing two? No, I don't wanna do that. I was that at Disney World a couple years ago. I don't wanna be the full on blue hair thing one, thing two. No, mm -mm, mm. you will not catch me with a blue wig on unless it's like, Coraline or something, but you know, you, you get what I'm saying. Netflix and chill, like did you, did, did you even try? I don't even know why I have to say this, but I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it because I know there's gonna be someone who tries it. This man, I don't even wanna say his name. This man right here. If you even think, if you think for a second that is a good idea, do your own research. But since they came out with that Netflix show, I feel like there's gonna be somebody who, who, who tries it. You look like an idiot. Anyways, now hear me out, hear me out. Just like I said about the Joker in part one, it's the same thing with Pennywise. If you're going to do Pennywise, do it right. Do it all the way. Go all the way out with it. Do not halfway do Pennywise. No, Brittany, I don't wanna see you and your leotard or whatever you call that thing in between your cheeks with a red balloon. I don't wanna see that. I want to see Pennywise. Trust me, I don't need a sexy Pennywise. I don't want that. Now this one goes out to my families, the ones that like to, like to view family costumes, the Incredibles. Hang it up. I've seen it enough. I just don't find it interesting anymore. There's so many other family characters you can do, maybe somewhere out there, I don't know. Bob Ross, it's done, okay? Once it was in Euphoria when Lexi did it, that's all I needed to see, put a cap on it. We don't need it anymore, all right? Cow print, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come, here. come closer, come closer to the camera, come closer. Take that cow print and burn it. That's what you need to do, burn it, because why? It's, oh, oh my. Gosh, where has this cow print come from? It doesn't even look good on me. It don't really look that, oh, well, I mean, it do kind of look good on y'all, but like, that's besides the point. The point is, it's done, it's over. I know, it's like a part of the trend, guys, I know. Cow print isn't even cute. We were really pushing the boundaries doing leopard print, because that ain't even all that. But like, cow print? Cow print? Oversized t-shirts that are supposed to be costumes specifically M&Ms. What are you, 13? If you're 13, I'll give you that. But you're 25. Take it off. Be a snicker bar. Ever, anybody ever thought about being a Twix, left Twix and right Twix? I think that's a great idea. I love a good right Twix. I've seen this one way too many times and it's from my sisters. I'm sorry, y'all, but um, the Bring It On costume, I think that's the name of the movie, Bring It On. That green cheerleader outfit, Gabrielle did it and y'all just went freaking bonkers after that. Like, be a different cheerleader. Be the cheerleader from Euphoria. Be any other cheerleader. Be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. But that cheerleader, it's no longer interesting because everybody in their mama done did it. Whatever this is. <laughs> Nah, I'm just joking. Don't, don't, don't take me for real, y'all. I'm just playing around. But if you want to wear the costume, wear it. But just know I'm judging. And last and certainly, and last and certainly, 
And last and certainly not least, a pumpkin. The only people I find acceptable wearing this costume are babies, children, and maybe, maybe a teacher that want to dress up for her students. Other than that, why do you have this on? Now, getting to the fun part of costumes that I would like to see. Let's get into that. Y'all remember the book called Stripes when we were children? Y'all could dress up as her. Like y'all could paint yourselves with those stripes and be her. Like that's a very unique costume. You could be an underrated YouTuber. <laughs> I promise you I won't be mad. You can get you a dreadlock wig if you ain't got dreadlocks and get you a pair of glasses. You'll be the best dressed person in that room. I promise you, girl, you're winning the costume of the year award. <laughs> Coraline is a really good costume as well. The blue wig with the button eyes. If you do Coraline, do the button eyes, please. That's what makes Coraline. Cruella. We slept on her as a kid and we shouldn't have, but Miss Sharpay Evans, she was that girl. Violet from Willy Wonka, the girl that was doing the bubble gum. You can also do strawberry shortcake. Don't see a lot of strawberry shortcakes walking around here. Frankenstein. The last time I seen somebody even attempt to dress up as Frankenstein was probably in fifth grade. Chucky and his bride, great options. Try being a character from Scooby-Doo. That's a classic show. Can't step on anyone's toes with that. You guys in the comments did not disappoint in my last video. And I'm going to say some of the ones that you guys recommended. And that was the Nightmare Before Christmas characters. I think Jack Skeleton is a really good idea. Beetlejuice. Someone said Catwoman and Batman would also be a really good idea for a couple. And I could not agree more. Those were just a few that I thought were really different ideas and I don't see done a lot and would love to see someone do them this year. Please send me pictures on Instagram. I don't know, do something. So y'all know I don't really like to ramble in the beginning of my videos, but I'm going to ramble now. I just wanna start off by saying that I think all of my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Check out some of my other videos. I do commentary. That's my thing, kind of comedic. I mean, I'm a little funny if I say so myself, but like. <laughs> my last video, I was at 235 subscribers and now I'm suddenly at 500 at the time of making this video. And I could not appreciate you guys more. I do this for fun and just to see that you guys enjoy my content and say that I'm underrated and say that I'm funny and stuff like that. That's what makes me happy the most is being able to put a smile on someone else's face. And I would also like to add that these videos are for entertainment. Like do not take my opinion on what you wear this year. Seriously, okay? Do not take it literally. We are cool, we're friends. Please don't beat me up in the comments, okay? If I said something that you disagree with. This is just pure entertainment and I don't mean any harm by it. Wear whatever you want, honestly. Whatever you're comfortable in, wear it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you agree with anything I said and hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next one.